Hey y'all, this is Amanda with She's a Mad Gardener and today I'm out in the backyard. We are actually expecting some pretty cool weather later on this week, but I am going to go ahead and get my dahlia tubers planted. I'm actually going to be planting them in garden pots, old garden pots for now until I decide where I want to put them until I make sure also that we're through these crazy freezes and all that good stuff. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe, subscribe button and that notification bell and make sure you leave me a comment saying hello. Every comment helps my channel grow and allows me to bring you guys more videos. Okay, let's talk about what dahlias I have first. Um, these are from Brex. I ordered them in the fall and they just showed up this last week. This is a Rembrandt, Ram, Rembrandt Dahlia mixture and I'll put up a photo so you guys can see. Full sun, midsummer to first frost flowering. 36 to 48 inches, um, planting two inches deep, mix of colorful striped and dotted blooms in various colors. Very exciting. Let's see what else I got in here. These are actually some uh, polar star double lilies that need to get planted up. Let's see what this bag is. This one is a Grand Prix Dahlia, um, planted full sun, midsummer to first frost. Sunshine yellow with light white tips, eight to 10 inches fully bloomed without a central disc. That sounds gorgeous. And one more in here. Um, Palmaris Dahlia. Um, and this one is soft yellow orange petals with purple underside petals, which are curved two tone effect. Okay, that sounds amazing. Can't wait to see what that one ends up looking like. And then I have some dahlias from Lowe's. This one right here is called Lady Darlene. And you can see how beautiful that is. Very pretty. This one right here is called Duet. This one right here is called Lavender Perfection. This one right here is called Tyrone. This one is Color Specta Spectacle. This one right here is Pretty Lucy. I like those spiky ends. And then finally, this one is called Mom's Special. All right, let's get planting. Okay, I'm going to start by working with um, plastic canisters that I've saved as I've purchased um, plants from different nurseries over the years. And the goal is, is I'm going to be planting my tubers up in these, putting them in my greenhouse, keeping an eye on them, and the ones that look good, because sometimes the box store ones aren't great, the ones that look good are going to get transplanted into the garden. So to start off, I'm just going to start with a basic, basic potting mix. already started sprouting. You can see the tubes here. They're a little, some of the tubers are a little soft, so we'll see how it does in there. But basically the tubers are going to lay on their side like this, and you can see the sprouts already coming up, and that's how I want to plant it in this pot. So I'm going to place the tuber down into the pot. some soil in here. I'm not looking for it to be overly intense. And I'm going to give it a light watering. I'm not crazy. I don't want these to rot. Dahlias don't want too much water. 
which is also another reason why I don't have them out in my garden as of yet because we are still in the wet season uh, in Texas right now, if you can say we have a wet season. Um, but that's how I'm gonna start. I'm gonna label it up and then I'm gonna start filling all of these up and get these into the greenhouse so that I can see which do well and which do not. Okay, so let's take a minute to talk about a Dahlia tuber. Um, it's made up of all these little kind of almost like seed pod looking things. These are the tubers and they grow roots off of them. And basically the idea is you can actually see the old stem from last year and the new sprout coming up. And basically the um, Dahlia is going to sprout wherever there's eyes on the tubers, okay? You want to, when you take your tubers out of the package, you want to check them. Anything that feels like soft or mushy, you definitely want to trim off. You actually don't need all these little roots and stuff. You can take those off if you want to. And then you're going to plant the tuber so that the shoot is pointing up. So some tubers might go to the side, some might go down low. Okay, there they are. Got them all in, labeled, ready to go. I'm gonna give them a very light water. Some of the potting mix was already moist, so the ones that are already moist, I am not going to water. And then I'm gonna get them in the greenhouse. Okay, 
got all the dahlias planted up, got them in the garden, uh, in the greenhouse. Um, so I am in zone 8A in Wiley, and typically dahlias are available right now in our nurseries. You can go buy them directly in the nurseries, sprouted, big, beautiful, gorgeous plants. So you can get them early on. Now, if you are putting dahlia tubers in the ground, you're most likely putting them in in April into May, and then you are not going to see blooms until the end of the summer into fall, all right? So don't get confused with what the nurseries are putting out. That's great. If you wanna go buy your dahlias, have them in the spring, they'll kind of you know teeter out a little bit in the um, summer, but then they'll come back at the end of the summer into fall. If you wanna do that, you totally do that. I went the tuber route, so way less expensive. Dahlia plants are expensive if you buy them full grown in the nursery. Um, so that's good. Now, dahlia tubers are not perennial in my area, so I need to dig them up at the end of the season and store them. So I'll be showing you a video on that as well, how to get the most out of storing your dahlia tubers. And then I will be utilizing a lot of these dahlias in floral arrangements this year. So excited. <laughs> I love making flower gel. Super excited. Can't wait to do that. Um, I think I covered a lot of things on the dahlias. If I missed something, throw some information down on the comment section of what works best for you for dahlias. Big thing is making sure that um, the dahlia tubers are laying in there correctly. You can see the sprouts um, pointing straight up. If you can't see the sprouts, look for the past stem. Um, a lot of growers will leave the stems on there, which I love because it makes it easier. Uh, you need to cut away any tubers that are mushy or feel like they're, you know, rotting or anything like that. Anything that doesn't feel good, cut those off, okay? Um, make sure you board, uh, put them in soil um, just about two inches deep. Um, light watering until they really get going. Um, even if it's still cold outside for you, you can go ahead and pop these up and put them inside and just put them in a sunny window. They actually don't re need all that much sun in the beginning when they get going. Um, they'll actually do fine in those bags as long as they can kind of breathe. Um, and their grower bags will do fine in those for a while until you're ready to plant them outside. That's about it. Can't wait to see what these look like. As always, she's a mad gardener or a decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.